All right, there's been some bass down here by the pontoon. They've just been messing with me. They've been swimming around. I throw stuff at them. I haven't been able to catch them lately, but I'm gonna take you guys with me on a quick little journey down here to the boat. I'm not messing around anymore. Going with the giant TRD from Z-Man. These babies just came out recently and I'm throwing the big dog at them. Got them on the mag shrooms from Z-Man as well. I'm gonna see if I can catch that little bugger. Get one for you guys right now. Let's go try it. Let's go get them. We're gonna give them the big stuff. Giant TRD. I don't see her. It doesn't mean that she's not maybe underneath the boat. All right, let's sneak up on it. Oh, I see her. She's moving away. She was actually right up by the seawall. Oh, she looked at it. Come on, girl. She's swimming away again. All right, hold on. See if I can cut her off. She definitely saw it. I'm kind of losing her with the, the ripple of the water. Let's see. Let's see if there's one underneath the old tuner. Skip this giant. <laughs> uh, good skip there. Kind of ring the dinner bell for him. Uh-oh. Well, that ain't going to catch anything. I hooked my worm. Excited. I'm thinking there's a fish underneath the boat. I'm just slamming into the boat instead. There we go. This Elastec stands up. Just like the, the little TRDs. See if this big one will drive them wild. So if you're asking yourself, okay, fish hook, what is a giant TRD? This is what it is. This is just a massive upscale of the traditional TRD little itty bitty worms, but this is the six inch giant variety. These guys right here, as you know, they've got that last tech. They're super durable. Again, they're buoyant, so they stick straight up. They're a cool worm. Now, I don't know if this giant, massive six inch behemoth will catch any fish, but let's, let's try a couple more times. Let's see if we can catch a fish on this. Maybe not scaring it away, but actually catching it. But comment below, again, is this something that you guys would use? Do you think there'd be applications in your neck of the woods for a massive Ned Rig presentation? Comment that below. Oh, I see one. Spooked her. All right. Let's get out in front of her. Uh, all right, let's try this again. This one swam off too. All right. I see where she went. I'm trying to be sneaky. They're all trying to be sneaky. Just chill right here a second. She's coming right to me. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that bass. She's just swimming right here. Now she back to the pads. No, I just keep scaring them. 
they don't want this giant meal well they don't know what's good for them okay so while we wait for the bass to come back with this <laughs> massive lure I don't know you guys need to comment below what do you think this giant TRD with this mag shroom head is gonna be good for would you fish it in your neck of the woods isn't that thing just intimidating I don't know if these Michigan bass will hit it but I'm certainly gonna give it a try, see if they come back and if they'll be interested. But you guys gotta comment below, is this something you guys will use? The thing is beast mode. But while we're sitting here, while we're waiting for this bass, I gotta talk to you guys. We got something we need to discuss and it's in regards to this baby I'm sitting on right now, the old fish hook uh, tuner. And she is up for sale, um, guys. It's time that I do some fishing from a new vessel. This is not a fishing pontoon. It's uh, 2010 Bennington. There's some okay storage in it. It's only, a, again, a 20 foot boat. It's, it's limited and I enjoy fishing from the boat. Um, again, I'm in Michigan, I live on this lake and I've got a young family. So it's a very versatile boat. A pontoon is a very versatile rig. However, I really wanna bring new and exciting content to you guys. I wanna grow as an angler, because deep down in my heart, I just love to fish. And I want a, a pontoon that's going to fit that style. So right now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sell this pontoon. It's fall 2019. I probably won't even start really looking or researching or trying to get into another pontoon until 2020 uh, in the spring. I mean, that's my, my goal. Helicopter wants to fly right over the house. Thanks. Can't you see I'm filming here? So, anywho, as I was mentioning before though, I want to grow myself as an angler. I want to grow my content for things that you guys are going to be interested in. And I live in the Great Lakes State. In my county alone, we've got dozens of lakes. Just east of me is one of the hands down best smallmouth lakes in the country, Lake St. Clair, also known for giant muskie and walleye and perch, all sorts of great fishing out of that lake. But again, I've got all of these great lakes that surround this state and I want to start exploring and it's hard to explore other bodies of water with a pontoon. It's not impossible, it's just difficult. And being a pontoon that's not equipped for fishing, it's really difficult, it really is. I wish there were rod storage, I wish there were storage for tackle, I wish I had a spot that would fit trolling motor batteries better, I wish loading it and unloading it on a trailer was a lot easier. I'm not complaining, it's a great boat, but guys, there are some things that I wanna share with you that I wanna start doing in terms of my content, and it's time that I get a boat that's gonna allow me to go do that. It's not the end of pontoon fishing for me, it's time to grow, it's time to evolve and become a better fisherman, and I think getting into a dedicated fishing boat is gonna do that. I've got a lot of things coming up in terms of content that I want to make for myself and share with you guys. And I'm even considering doing some maybe tournament fishing and maybe that be bass or muskie here in the state. But I really want to grow as an angler, do more content, and it's time to get a new boat to do that. So I want you guys to stay tuned with me. That will be coming very soon. I will share with you guys in my next video the boat. Um, I think you guys are going to be excited about it. It's going to be something that's going to be very versatile as well. It's going to be able to get on big water. It's going to be able to be family friendly and it's going to let me fish and slay all sorts of different species. So I'm very excited for it. I want to say this too. If it wasn't for you and your support here on YouTube, Instagram, all my fishing stuff, having a possibility of even getting a fishing boat would be out of the question. It's because of your guys' support, it's because you guys keep coming back for my content. I have to thank you for that, and I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy the content that's gonna come out of this evolution of Fishhook to 
get from a pontoon boat to a fishing boat and really start exploring and put out some really new content. And I promise you, pontoons will be in my blood. They will be on my lake. It's something that I just, I love doing, but I need to get a boat that's gonna blend the luxury as well as the fishing for a pontoon if I wanna keep going forward on a pontoon. It just, it's hard, there's just no space. I need space, I need, I need room to put rods all my gear, I need a live well, I need I need vinyl floors. Carpet floors stink. This is so 2010, there's so many advancements in pontoon boats, and so come spring 2020, let's see if I can't maybe work something out and get a really good pontoon boat that'll fit or blend a little better. But like I said, there's a lot of Great Lakes local around my wonderful state of Michigan and I want to share that with you guys. I hope you want to come along with me for that. So enough rambling. Thank you guys for everything. This transition would not be without you. The, the viewer, the support, you guys are amazing. I love each, each and every one of you. I hope you keep coming back for more. Again, my name is Fishhook Terry. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned. The new boat reveal will be very, very soon. So come back for that. Guys, I will catch Catch you in the next one. Good luck out there. Tight lines, everybody. Peace.